Viewers and subscribers, please subscribe to Saga News TV and give a like and share. The driver of a delivery truck was on Friday morning shot dead in his Westmoreland community by a man traveling on a motorcycle. As the parish continued to experience an uptick in gun violence, a passenger in the vehicle was also shot and injured during the attack. The deceased has been identified as 50 years old. Bob Isaac, who is also a farmer of a Broughton district, Little London, Westmoreland address. Reports are that about 11 a.m., Isaac was driving his blue Suzuki truck on the Broughton main road with one male passenger on board. When two men traveling on motorcycle drove up to the right side of the truck, the pillion reportedly brandished a firearm and opened gunfire directed at the right side of the truck, hitting both occupants before they spread off. The police were summoned and upon their arrivals, Isaac was seen slumped over the steering wheel of the vehicle. Both men were subsequently taken to Savlamar Public General Hospital, where Isaac was pronounced dead and the passenger was admitted in stable condition. No motive has yet been established for the shooting. The Area 1 police have revealed that 32 years old businesswoman, Sodin Hilton, otherwise called Pinky, of New Road, Dalistan, Westmoreland, who was gunned down at her store in her community on Thursday afternoon, was a member of a criminal gang and was out on bail and a murder rap. The police also indicated that Hilton, who has a condition of her bail, was to stay outside of the parish of St. James, is said to be the aunt of a top tier Montego Bay based gangster. Reports from the police are that about 3.35 p.m., Hilton was at her business establishment when she was punched upon by three men armed with handguns who opened gunfire at her, hitting her multiple times. The gunman then made their escape in a Toyota Axio motor car that was waiting. They reported the drop off in the direction of Betteltown. Hilton was found by relatives who summoned the police. On their arrivals, the police saw Hilton lying face down in her store with multiple gunshot wounds to her head and other section of her upper body. She was subsequently transported to the Savlamar Public General Hospital where she was pronounced dead on arrival. A man who was found dead after police responded to several explosions in Backland Spanish Town St. Catherine on Friday afternoon. The man who up to press time was unidentified, is of dark complexion, sport a low cut hairstyle and is about 5 feet 4 inches tall. Reports are that about 12.30 p.m. The Spanish Town Guard Room received information that explosions were heard in the community. A patrol team dispatched to the area. Upon arrival, a grey Nissan caravan motorbus was seen parked on the roadway outside the community. Upon checking, a man body was seen in the back of the vehicle slumped over some crates. The body, which was clad in a black t-shirt, black pants and purple and orange sneakers, had what appeared to be several gunshot wounds. Shooting, the police believe started from inside the community and the vehicle driven to where it was found. No motive has been established for the killing, the police said. A 9mm pistol and 9mm rounds of ammunition were seized by the police on Franklin Avenue, Kingston 16 and Thursday, March 14. A man is in hospital under police guard as a result of the seizure. Reports from the Ellison Road Police are that about 9.30 a.m., a man had a dispute with a woman in his community, during which he fired several shots in the area and left. While walking along the roadway, he was reportedly removed the firearm from his waistband when he shot and injured himself. The man reportedly removed items of his clothing and hid the firearm. The police were summoned and he was taken to hospital for treatment. Investigation led to a snap raid being carried out at his home, where his clothing and the firearm, along with a magazine containing Eight 9mm rounds of ammunition were reportedly found behind a concrete wash tub inside the yard. A 9mm rounds of ammunition was also reportedly taken from his pants pocket. The weapon and ammunition were seized. Investigation continued into the unusual development. A licensed firearm holder was shot and injured when his gun accidentally went off at the Negril police station on Wednesday morning. Reports are that the licensed firearm holder went to retrieve his pistol which was left in the care of the police at the Negril police station when the pistol accidentally discharged a bullet which hit him in one of his legs. He was taken to hospital where he was treated. The Negril police are investigating. 